So we're getting pretty specific with this one here, integrals of products of sine and cosine. Now I'm going to show you a worked example here, but before I start the worked example, just need to talk about something. So here's the example, and this is what I mean by products of sine and cosine. A product like multiply, a sine and a cosine multiplied together. Now this case is a very specific case, an odd and an even. Specific case here, odd power, even power. Now we can also do this where it's reversed. Reversed, odd power here on the cos, even power here. Uh, now they can obviously be switched around because they're just products, so cos, sine doesn't matter. Now the one thing I'm not going to show you in this video is what to do if they're both even. That's for another video. So I'm going to show you this version. Everything I do for this version can just be repeated for this version, just done with cosine instead of sine. Okay, let's get started on this one. The trick is to take your odd power and break it into an even power and a power of 1 here. And then this even power here, you can rewrite this in a cool way. So just focusing on this bit here, I've said sine to the 4x is the same as sine squared x and then squared. Okay, why have I done it this way? Because sine squared x can be expressed as 1 minus cos squared x. And we get this neat little thing here. Now, I'll put all of this down here. And what we can do from here is do a nice, neat u substitution for cos x. And once we've done that, of course, we can substitute that in for dx, and we can substitute u in for cos x. So once we've got something that looks a little bit like that, we can see that there's a sine x here and a sine x here, so they'll cancel each other out. And this negative is being multiplied through by the lot, so that negative can be removed from here and moved over to here. And what we get is this neat little thing here. Now from here we can just expand those brackets and then with those neat little brackets multiply through by u to the 8. Finally now it's time to integrate so standard integration here of a polynomial and now that I've got something like that oh just need to be a bit careful there was a negative 1 out there that I've forgotten so I need to make sure that I multiply through by negatives so that's going to be negative, that's going to be positive, and that's going to be negative. Now once that's taken care of, u wasn't u, it was cos x, so we can put that back in there. Now that is our integral right there. Now you can factorise it by taking a common factor of uh, cos 9 out the front, and you'll get something that looks like that. Now other textbooks might do something like multiply all of our denominators together and bring them out or do something like that, but I'm happy with where I am at here. So, what I've shown you here is an integral of a product of sine and cosine, where one of them is odd and the other one is even. Everything we've done here could be done exactly the same if it was cosine uh, that was odd. In that case, we would be doing whatever it is to the odd cosine, and then we'd do our um, let u equal sine x, not cos x. And then we do like a 1 minus u squared for whatever that odd one was. Alright, we'll keep that one nice and short. In another video, we're going to take a look at using some other trig identities in order to integrate.